Let's ride up. Oh, no, I hope. I'm trying to get that light out of there. But... I'll join you. <laughs> no, that's too close. I can't. It's too close. <laughs> No, tell me where to go. I'll get out of your way. You. Yeah, do it. I mean, I'm the pres I'm the new president of Kiwanis. I guess I can represent Kiwanis. <laughs> today and to talk a little bit about my longtime friend and colleague, um, Catherine Clark. Catherine Clark uh, served as a public school educator for 47 years. And during that time, she served as a teacher, a librarian, and a district supervisor. In addition to those roles, she also brought sparkle to our school system. <laughs> if you ever visited Catherine, whether it was in her classroom, her library, her office, or her teacher center, every spot was meticulously and colorfully decorated. To visit Catherine was to like, like walking into a beautifully illustrated storybook. Um, the other thing she brought our school system was um, extraordinary talent. Catherine is a nationally certified storyteller and um, she also is a tremendous poet with hundreds and hundreds of poems to her credit. She's also an excellent artist and all of those talents she readily shared with us. To the leadership uh, class of 2015, I say thank you for honoring this distinguished educator. And uh, to Charlie, her son, who is here today, I say <coughs> congratulations. This honor is uh, most fitting and well-deserved. 
Thank you. And now we have Ms. Deb Camacho, who is um, part of the library, I mean, I'm not library, Leadership Robertson County Group, and she's going to talk about why they chose this project. And if you want to come on in, there's standing room and there's still people outside. Just uh, make room, and, and uh, I'm Deborah Camacho. I'm going to talk about Leadership Robertson County, the mural, and Catherine Clark. You, if you're thinking, who is she? You don't know me? You're in good company, because I'm new to town. And that's why I signed up for Leadership Robertson County. They took us around and showed us all the advantages of the county, and all the challenges of the county, and all the opportunities. But it was a class, so we had an assignment, and our assignment was a group project, and we had to think it up, and I had to work with a dozen strangers to figure it out. Well, we sat, we talked. First thing that we agreed upon is we were graduating in 2015. And what else was happening? The library was happening. So we thought, let's get involved with that. Maybe we could pay for the children's circulation desk. But it was already taken. <laughs> but as we talked about the children's library, the grown-ups in my group started remembering when they were kids. A person who was special to them and they wanted to do something special that no one else would do so Catherine Clark the purple lady was who they all remember she read them stories and that made them happy you know not everybody finds reading easy and even though some people do read easily, when a child is read to by an adult, the adult puts wings on that child's reading. They can hear more of the story, get more involved in the character, get into the adventure, use better vocabulary. And this is what Catherine Clark did for the adults in my class when they were kids. So we wanted to do something colorful because she was colorful, a purple lady. So we thought of a mural, a big mural. But then we needed an artist. And we found Chip Moles. He did the design. He did the work, and he's going to talk in a minute, so he'll get to talk after me. Well, one thing about being a mural is that the children now can look at the purple lady and say, oh, yeah, my mom told me about her. Yeah, <laughs> and when you're adults and you have children, they can look at the purple lady and say, who is that? Oh yeah, my granddad told me about her. You know what? I want to be like that. I want to be special and do something that makes other people and help people learn. So, Chip, she is a real person, but she is also a fantastic person. Those dear stories can 
precious blister became more like my parents. Catherine Edwards Clark, the Purple Lady. Chip, you tell them when you want them to dim the, want the dim lights there. I'll, I'll, I'll just say Please thanks real quick. Um, I should appreciate y'all uh, making it to this point, coming to see the mural and everything. What a pleasure to have gotten to work on this for the last uh, month and a half, two months. It's a lot of uh, before painting and after painting work, but uh, you get to see it all. Um, and I know if you're over here, you may not be able to see Catherine from this angle, but uh, you know, all this space is fine too. In a second, we'll be projecting something from the projector onto this screen, and that will show the process that it got me through. So you'll see the beginning, the middle, and the end. Um, and I'll try to go through that as quickly as I can. I'll have to put that projector on.